appropriate quotation for this given number. Okay, now let's solve the next example. Eight hundred and eight point eight zero eight. Okay, so eight is a question symbol. See, this is decimal point one space hundred. So this eight is a hundred plus zero times plus eight one space. Okay, so this this eight is a hundred plus so eight into hundred plus now zero is a question. So zero into ten plus eight. Eight is our which place? One place. So eight into one plus. Now this is this is it. Add ten plus. So eight into one upon ten plus. This zero is our which place? Hundred plus. Okay. So zero into one one upon hundred. Okay. Plus this is it. Thousand is okay. So eight into one upon thousand. Okay. So this is the expanded notation for this given number. So eight into hundred, eight hundred plus zero into ten. The number multiplied by zero, the answer is zero. Okay. So zero plus eight into one ten plus eight into one upon ten. So it comes out. Eight upon ten plus zero into one upon hundred. Any number multiplied by zero, what you are going to get answer zero. Plus eight into one upon thousand means eight upon one thousand. Okay. So this we got the answer. See this zero if you will not write even though this what will be the answer for this eight hundred. If it is written, okay, no problem. That is also correct. Eight of one thousand. Okay. So eight hundred plus eight plus eight of one ten plus eight of one thousand. Let's solve question number six. Write the following in decimal form. Now see, this is first one question. What it is nine of one thousand. Yesterday only I have explained. When we divide by ten, hundred, thousand. What we have to do? We have to count the number of zeros and shift the decimal point. Okay. So now see how many zeros are there? One, two, three. How many number of zeros are there? Three thousand. It's obvious that three zeros will come. Okay. One, two, three. So write this number here. Okay. Nine 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 nine. So where we have to keep the decimal point? See, the point counting only comes from here. One, two, three. Three zeros. So count the number of one. Now you will see here there are no numbers that are, but we have to give our own zeros. Okay, one, two, three. So one, two, three. So give the decimal point before three digits. Before three digits. Three digits. What? Before three digits. See, this is first digit. One, two, three. So before three digits. Okay. Give the decimal point before three digits. Okay. So. Zero point zero zero nine, or you can write only point zero zero nine. So, okay, both are correct. Now, let's solve next example. Now, see here in second one example, three upon hundred plus five upon thousand. It is given three upon hundred plus five upon thousand. Now, see here any whole number is given? No. So, whole number is not given. So, write zero. After whole number, we have to write here. We have to give the decimal point. Yes, we have to give the decimal point. Then only this fraction part starts. This decimal part.
Nine upon hundred, it is given. It's hundred. 
is 4.22 means what will come 4.22